right, so today we're gonna take you on a tour of our uh, nursery for Gavin's room. Uh, we did a vintage baseball room. Um, we did a lot of looking around on uh, Pinterest and other blogs and etc. So we're gonna take you on a tour of what we did and where we got what and what it looks like. So follow us on this journey. All right, so I'm going to tell you um, where we got everything today, and we'll put links on the bottom um, of our video to show you where we got stuff. Yeah, everything will be in the description box down below so you can see where we bought what exactly. All right, the first area is our changing pad area. Um, we found a actual changing pad at Bye Bye Baby, or you can find it on Amazon. And we also got a changing pad cover. We couldn't find any red. Um, in the store, so we got on Etsy on um, Little Owls and Nest to order the Minky changing pad cover. Um, we got this little bear um, from Mardell Christian store, and then a lot of the decorations in this room are actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, they had a lot of good vintage baseball decorations, so the frame and the two metal pictures and the mirror. And then the light switch plates were all very vintage, and those all came from Hobby Lobby. Um, this furniture we got from Bye Bye Baby. It was Sorel um, by Providence, and it's in Dark Espresso. Um, we filled this jar up. It was a Pinterest idea with some vintage baseballs um, we found at Played Against Sports. Um, that has old um, sporting equipment um, for great deals. Um, this was just a wipe warmer that we use um, for Gavin. He loves it. Um, these are what we have in our drawers. We just have some socks. Some hats, especially for those first newborn photo shoots. Some pacifiers. And then we have some cloth diapers. We do cloth diapers um, instead of disposable to ch um, save money and also help the environment. Um, so we have some of the liners in here. And then here is our cloth diaper stash. Um, it's a lot more affordable if you do it um, monthly during pregnancy. We bought um, several packs during pregnancy, not all at once. Um, so that helped. Um, with the cost of those, but those will go through um, potty training, so all the way up until that point. Um, these are just the clothes that he fits in now, um, and his different swaddles. Um, okay, on this wall we have a newborn photo of Gavin that we had taken um, the first week he was born. Um, the next thing that we bought um, was actually found by Gavin's dad. Um, it's a bat made by Texas Timber Bat Company. Um, it's the exact length that Gavin was when he was born. Um, you can put their name on it and the date and the time that they were born and how much they weigh and their length at birth. So it's a great memento for him to have when he gets older. Okay, the next thing we have is our glider and ottoman set. Um, it came together, which we thought was a great deal because normally you have to buy the chair and the ottoman separate, um, which costs more money. We also found this at Bye Bye Baby where you can use their 20% off coupons um, or you can use Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. This was the Sierra glider and ottoman set um, by Little Castle. And we got to pick out the corresponding fabric um, that we liked. Um, this pillow, um, his Grams made um, for him and matches the bed skirt in our room. Um, we'll show you that bed skirt in a second here. So we wanted that as an accent. And then over here, up here we got the shelf. What do we got on here? We got a shelf we found at Hobby Lobby, and then we got this as a gift, um, a little money piggy bank. Watch and this, actually guys. actually makes music. Put some money in it. Plays them a little take me out to the ball game. Ain't that cool? Alright, over here we also 
His grandpa got this handprint with the baseball on it. It's pretty cool. I found this glove on eBay actually. It's a mini baseball glove. His hand actually will fit inside this glove. I thought that was pretty cool. Great for photo shoots as well. So this was pretty cool to have on his uh, shelf. And then it has some other little things. I had an old baseball autographed. And then these also found on eBay. Uh, little baseball shoes. So um, those are pretty cool. He actually fits in these. These are about a newborn size. He might not fit into them now. But that's what we got on our shelf. What else we got? And we got a Nolan Ryan picture. Um, oh yeah, we had that reframed to match his room. Autographed Nolan Ryan picture. And then the... Um, no, what else? We found these curtains at Garden Ridge, which is now called At Home. Um, we like them because they have the blackout fabric, um, which is good for when he's sleeping. Because um, sometimes he goes to sleep before it's dark outside. And they were a great deal as compared to other places um, that had different panel sets. Um, the next thing is our nightstand, which we just have uh, bark gloss for easy access um, for when he's eating. And then we also have extra sheets um, for his crib. Um, the next thing is this baseball we found at Hobby Lobby. The lamp we found at Hobby Lobby. And then these were vintage baseball pitchers of coasters that his... Gavin's dad actually ended up finding a tutorial and making that. I made these here. It's pretty cool. We uh, I printed these images on a uh, tissue paper and then pretty montage them on here, I guess. And that's how they turned out. They're pretty cool looking. Maybe one day I'll do a video on how to do some uh, coasters. And then we have his sound machine, which helps him sleep. Um, we also have a timer, which helps us remember um, and also alarms us um, after so much time after we've changed him or fed him so I can set it for every 30 hours and it'll wake me up at night um, to remind me to come feed him. And all of y'all who already subscribed to us uh, know that we do a lot of gardening and he has a great view from his room as you can see right out this window is our vegetable garden so he can uh, dream about gardening in the near future we found a metal statue of a baseball player um, at Hobby Lobby and the next wall was probably my favorite wall or our favorite wall um, on this wall we painted baseball stitching um, we found the idea on Pinterest there are lots of ideas on how to do that um, we also put his name above the crib. Hold on y'all guys, check him out. He's taking a little nap right now. We're gonna be careful not to wake him up. But there he is. Peaceful. Happy. <laughs> Try not to wake him up while we do this. But this is, this is the wall with his crib on it. And we um, found these letters at Michael's and painted them red and then dry brush black on it to make them look more vintage. Coming close you can see the dry brush marks of how they look. The next thing we have is the Samsung monitor. Um, we can move it um, so we can see him at different angles and we can also talk to him through here for when he gets a little older to comfort him if needed. And this is what it looks like um, in our bedroom. So this is a little monitor we put in our room. We can watch it. We can hear him. It's pretty awesome. Pretty check that out. Uh, put the link down below where you can find that. I think we got that on Amazon for a great deal versus on some of the other stores where you can buy the same product. Alright, the next thing we did was we had to find a red crib sheet, which was hard to find in the baby store. So we went on an Etsy shop, um, Little Charlie Mae's Etsy shop, and found this nice, soft, um, minky, crimson fabric um, crib sheet. And then it also matches our floppy pillow cover. 
and our changing pad cover are all the same minky. Yeah, these the changing cover we got first on Etsy, and then the same lady made this uh, boppy cover, and then we found a different person that actually made the uh, the sheet, and it's all the same color fabric, uh, crimson. Because I tell you what, it's hard to find a a right color red first of all, and it's impossible to find a red fabric in um, any store for a, a, a baby sheet, crib sheet, in a red color. Okay, the next thing is our crib is actually a convertible crib. Um, so this crib will convert um, all the way until he is in his teenage years and ready to go off to college. It starts as a crib and then you can remove it. Here, let me show y'all. This thing goes into a, uh, after he's in this crib for a while, then we're going to change it to this uh, toddler setting. It'll look like this. Okay. And then we'll make it into a full size bed even later on down. So it's a little more pricey than a baby crib, but it's well worth the investment when you can use it for pretty much what his whole. Uh, childhood if we want so that's pretty awesome all right the next thing is the um, crib skirt and um, his grams actually sewed that um, that was some fabric that I had found at Bassett furniture um, I think it was called the woven scarlet stripe um, it was actually quite pricey, um, so that's why we only did it on the crib skirt and on the chair pillow. Here's some of the fabric here. We had some left over. So you can check it out closely here and see what it looks like. But yeah, this stuff was pricey. We were going to use it for the, uh, the uh, curtains, but uh, way too expensive to do that this, in this fabric. It's more of a upholstery fabric, but it looks really good on the uh, crib sheet. Okay, the next thing um, was a great gift um, that Gavin got from his grandpa. It's a Homer Rockabye rocking horse. Um, and it actually looks like a baseball glove and a baseball and it even plays music. So I'm sure he'll be excited when he gets to use it. Then we come back on this wall behind the door. We've got a few things. We have a little um, rack for his hats, which his Grams bought him. Um, I think she got it at Hobby Lobby, not quite sure. We have a Texas Rangers hat. That's amazing. We found this, and it's actually a newborn size, so that was really cool. You can find a newborn size baseball hat. It's still actually a little bit big for him, but we'll try it out once he gets a little bigger. And then we also have this growth chart, which we found at Hobby Lobby, and we put his um, birth um, link on there. And then I think we'll update it maybe every six months or so, and just see how he grows throughout his childhood. All right, so here, one thing we need to mention is the color of the walls, if y'all are interested in. Uh, this three walls on this side of the room were... Um, done from uh, Home Depot Bear. It's the Golby Desert. All right, we used all eggshell in all of the room. Um, so that's what we did on that. And then for his feature wall with his name and the baseball that we uh, painted on by hand, we also, the main color on this wall was a little bit lighter color. It was also Bear. Uh, Rafia Cream was the name on that. I'll put the links down below so you can um, see exactly the names and whatnot but in the middle yes. here the middle stripe for the baseball it was the darker color from the uh, Golby Desert three walls and then on the red what we did is I got a sample can of um, a Glidden you can get these little sample cans here like so and so we don't have to buy a whole quart or whatever and why we went with Glidden is because they had an eggshell sample and Bayer did not have a sample in the eggshell so I wanted to get eggshell to match on everything but what we did is we used this little can of red for the uh, baseball stripes and then we also used the same red for his letters so that's how we did that and of course like we mentioned before we dry brushed uh, a little black 
for to make it a little more vintage looking for his name. So that's the uh, colors on his wall. All right, then the last thing we need to check out in the room is his rug. Uh, we found this rug, a little shaggy rug, at actually at Home Depot. We looked all over the place for some rugs and came up with this one, uh, best deal versus, I even thought Ikea would have a better price, but actually Home Depot had the best price on a rug that we wanted for his room. He's a little have something bit... soft to play on since we have hardwoods. Yeah, goes great in his room. It's hard to debate if we wanted the red or the slight tan to go in his room. Either one, I think, would have worked perfectly, but uh, that's what we went with. Now let's check out his uh, closet real quick. We'll just show you all real quick what this we got is, in there. This is our bag that we just put his diapers in um, after they've been used, so we're ready to wash. Yeah, those are the cloth diapers, you know. Um, the next thing we have is a storage bin with different toys, um, different shoes, and different baskets to hold stuff for Gavin. Got a um, lot of books here to read. He's got a lot of reading to do. And we got that at Home Depot. Um, these are just some extra clothes um, for him as well. And then I've also put... Um, this we got as a gift with his footprint um, from when, when he was first born um, and a little picture of him at the hospital and then these are just extra clothes um, that are sorted by months um, and labeled for us to use when he gets bigger. Here y'all gotta check this out too. And this here let me show y'all this uh, we use quite a bit. We also got from uh, my dad, his grandfather. This is a nice little uh, baseball mat for him to, you know, play on to get take a little nap on. But this thing is really nice and soft, and he loves this thing. It's probably one of his favorite things. We use quite a bit in the living room when we can lay him down on that as well. So it goes great with the room baseball theme, and it's a dog too as well. So. What can be better, puppies and baseball? All right, so there's just a quick look at our nursery. We did vintage baseball as much as we could, and uh, I think it looks great, don't you? Yeah, awesome. We love so, it. So here he is. He's getting hungry. It's about his dinner time here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think we put about everything we could in the description of where we found each item, where you can find it. Some, Most of this was Hobby Lobby, some was eBay, a lot of it on Amazon, and the rest on, you know, uh, Bye Bye Baby and Babies of Rest stores. Etsy. And then, of course, a few things also Etsy. So, yep, that's about it for us. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's just a quick uh, view of his room and what we did to make it all for him.